Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 11th, 12th, 13th. You know the timing is fluid, right? Thank you to Julia for the donation. Or the donations, because I, I see that you gave me another one. Thank you. Really, really, really appreciated. What do we have for a message today? The strength card. First card out. So this is a card of mastering emotions, letting go of control, finding the inner strength to face your fears, We do uh, that infinity sign is really uh, popping out at me. So there could be something that is coming back around. There's a lot of positive energy in this card. You see the, the yellow, it's, it's very warm, loving, kind. This is a card of courage and bravery, doing something brave, overcoming fears, mastering emotions, doing something that you know, maybe you normally would be too afraid to do. Or just didn't have the inner strength to do it. The mental strength. Something's happening. It's very positive. This is a positive turn. It's an upturn. This is the wheel spinning. This is good news, it's good luck, it's being at the right place, it's something very positive happening. We have the end of a cycle. This is a very positive change, a positive turn. A sex of cops reverse is letting go of the past. Some of these may have been holding on to memories or holding on to something in the past, clinging, struggling, grieving. Maybe there's even been a period of prolonged grief. Nothing stays the same. That strength card is definitely a card of acceptance and mastering emotions. This is the end of a cycle with something that has been clung on to. Somebody was repeating, okay? They were repeating some sort of past cycles. Maybe it was past life karma. Maybe it's the end of a, of a karmic cycle. It's over anyway, because the Wheel of Fortune is it's over. That, that cycle is over, that phase is over, that chapter is over with whatever it is that you have been thinking about a lot. It's been in your memories, it's been coming up. That's where the coming up, coming back around. It's like mastering those emotions to overcome something that happened in the past or your, your past traits or your negative repetitive patterns, whatever this is. There's some sort of ending with something that you have been clinging to 
that has been on the surface, it's been really needing to be released. The memories, the, rem the remembrance, the romanticizing, the the pains of the past, whatever, the ten of the ten, the wheel of fortune is the a change in direction. It's something very positive happening. Nothing stays the same. This could be literally leaving home, packing up and leaving. Doesn't have to be home. You could be leaving something in the past. It's the past is done. That wheel of fortune is the end. Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups is very um, typically very kind-hearted, generous in love, looking for love. Oh, you know, has a lot of love to offer. This is a healer. A psychic, maybe a counselor, a nurse, a caregiver. This is somebody that is very big hearted, that, you know, has a lot of love to offer, a lot of love to give, and that is their main focus. Finding the strength to master emotions for sure. Somebody's definitely going to be mastering their emotions. They may be turning their back on a situ that situation. Doing it out of self-love. Oh, I already cut. I guess I'm going to cut again. Chariot and the Nine of Pentacles. Look at that. Moving forward. Moving towards abundance. This is... Living a very good life. This is forward movement. And we saw that with the Wheel of Fortune as well. This is very positive. Now the, the chariot is literally taking back control of emotions. And, you know, doing the work. Getting in the driver's seat. Going somewhere. Moving forward. And the Nine of Pentacles is living a very good life. You know, it's abundance. It's having it all. It's finding the strength to, the strength and the willpower and the discipline and the determination to take charge. Somebody's going to be taking charge. They're going to be taking a new journey, okay? And this journey does lead to abundance. It leads to success. Now, we may have somebody here that is moving on, moving into independence. You know, it has to do with being independently owned and operated, moving forward independently, really doing the work, Overcoming fears does lead to this abundance. When you move forward, you, you, everything gets better. Somebody's also headed towards somebody that is abundant. You know, the Nine of Pentacles is typically an individual that is very solid, stable, secure, has worked hard to achieve success, is very comfortable with themselves, is very healthy. Somebody's going to be working on their health. They're going to be working on their stability. That's, that's, that's the, the new road. It's the new path. The chariot is leaving the past behind, finding the strength to overcome and really focus on oneself. Somebody's going to be really focusing on themselves. They're really going to, I want to say, ground themselves, go with the flow and stop resisting, stop trying to force things. Somebody's intuition is really speaking to them. We do have some forward movement. This is, it's like it's a new day or something like that, or a new energy. Facing opposition. And there's some sort of singular action here.
moving towards abundance, moving towards security, moving towards stability, and living a very good life. Because that's the Nine of Pentacles. This, this, a storm is ending. Some sort of storm is ending. Because somebody's taking charge of themselves. They're themselves. It's not taking charge of another person. It's taking control of your own emotions. Taking control of your own life. Con taking control of your own actions. Hmm. <gasps> Look at that. Nine of Pentacles happens all the time now. For those of you who've been watching me for years, I have that happens very a lot. Oh, no abundance, no uh, money. There could be a loss. I mean, this is a master manipulator here. The magician reverse is a master manipulator. Somebody that lies, a trickster. There's emotional manipulation here. Somebody it has been using emotional manipulation to obtain money. They've been using somebody for money. And they've been preying on another person's insecurities, instability. There's some sort of graceful approach that may have been able, and I, I know I'm changing it, but now I feel like we have somebody that used a very graceful approach. They earned somebody's trust. They emotionally manipulated them. And now there could be a loss. The eight, nine of pentacles reverse can be a loss. Somebody was using somebody for money. There's some definitely some sort of lies, manipulation, a trickster. Somebody that is very skilled at manipulating other people's emotions. But whoever they've been, been manipulating is now turning their back. Is now mastering their emotions and going in a new direction. Beware. You okay? I gotta tell you. Beware of sweet talking. Okay, beware of that. Seriously. There, there is somebody here that is very cunning. They may be looking for somebody to finance them, to take care of them, to um, provide for them. Ten of Pentacles reverse. That is losing it all. It's, it is. Oh my God. Ten of Pentacles reverse is financial ruin. It could be losing it all. Losing, losing the home. Losing the money. Losing the job. Losing the business. Lack of success. Marrying for money. Using somebody for money. There could be an unplanned loss here. I gotta tell you. You know, maybe somebody's been staying for the roof or lying about their security, lying about who they are. Maybe they did lie. Very graceful, very sweet. I mean, I know I'm changing it, but there is definitely somebody here that is a liar. Will do anything for money. Anyhow, the Ten of Pentacles reversed is a total loss. Six of Swords, moving on, going somewhere, traveling to a new destination. It's a time of transition. Somebody definitely going to a better place. They're leaving some sort of unstable situation behind where there's been manipulation, maybe even... Uh, well, we got somebody here that doesn't have a good character. This is somebody that is dark, that is uh, power-crazed. Wants to be in control. After money. 
be very careful of getting manipulated by somebody who says that they are secure. They may say all the right words. They're very cunning. They're attractive. But Maybe they don't take care of themselves or they don't have a good relationship with money. Oh my God. Six of Swords is moving. It is leaving behind a hostile situation, leaving the home, leaving the business. Must find the discipline to take action. Must refocus. You must refocus. You must. You must focus on your value. You must focus on your worth. You must find the resources. Use your resources wisely. Plan. It's time to go. We have somebody here who doesn't know their value as well. They didn't anyway. Maybe it was their past life karma. Something to do with past life karma. Moving on. Moving on. From a, from a situation that is... Extremely manipulative. It was all about the money. It was very superficial. The outside looked grand. The inside was a complete mess. The outside literally looks great. But it's all a lie. Leaving the establishment, leaving the home, leaving the family, turning away from a feud or a fight or something like that. Moving, moving. Somebody could, with the chariot could be moving. The six of cups reverse can be moving. This can be moving. Definitely. Woo! The tower reverse. This is unavoidable change. Been avoided up until now. Can't avoid it anymore. This is a permanent loss. This is health problems, fights, losses, painful changes that you tried to avoid. This could be something that you can't avoid. It is coming up. This is in the future, from now to the future. This is an unavoidable loss. This, could, this is somebody that's been going to extremes. Extreme upheaval. Things get turned upside down. This is, somebody has been abusing. The magician reversed is abusing. You know, the the magician is a compul compulsive liar that is very convincing. They may prey on the weak. People that don't know their value or people that are needy. Anyhow, we have a false sense of security here, okay? And we have something that may crumble that needs to be completely, you need to completely rebuild. Start over from scratch. There's mentally unstable here as well. Be careful for your found watch your foundations, pay attention to your foundations, okay? Pay attention to your body, pay attention to your home, pay attention to your relationships. There's going to be a shift of power, a shift in power, a shift period, a power shift, <coughs> a crash, a crumble. Now that's an empire, the loss of an empire, the crash of an empire, something like that. 
a fall from power of some sort. There's been a false sense of security. It's all being seen. Overcoming, mastering emotions, turning your back. Somebody's turning their back on something that at one time looked very secure. It was all false. It was all lies. Get prepared for a shakeup. It's not over yet, unfortunately, because that tower reverse is in the future. This is a turning point, breaking point, at a crossroads. Somebody's been thinking about moving on. They've been avoiding it, right? Avoiding taking action. Maybe because of the money or their own insecurities or their own lack of self-value. But we do have a turning point. We have expansion. We have a strong desire for something more. Back to that second cut, stability and success. The chariot and the nine of pentacles reverse. That is the desire. I am ready to move on for me. That's the nine of pentacles and the chariot. That's going somewhere, getting in the driver's seat, taking the reins, taking control, moving forward, doing something for oneself to have a better life going somewhere, literally moving, taking a journey. And I think it's been a long journey. Anyhow, this is a new vision in regards to what is solid, what is real, what is false. And where things have been at. We probably have an instant realization and, re and new vision. It's a just. It's like new sight. It's like I see that it's time to move on. So yeah. Extremely unhealthy foundation, body, living situation, or job. And there's been some serious manipulation, lies, deception. I think conniving as well. Six of Wands reversed. And the King of Wands. The Six of Wands reversed is no victory. It's no success. It's a one-hit wonder. It's somebody that likes to be in the limelight, likes to be in the spotlight, you know, has plenty of admirers, but is losing support because of their false appearances. Like I said, the outside looks grand, the inside is a mess. And it is time to take action. It's time to be strong. It's time to take control of your life, of your self. This is illness. This is sickness. This is the death of a person, situation, or idea. You need to take a time out to reflect and heal and go within and come up with a plan. Take plenty of time to heal yourself. Time out. Stop. Stop. For some of you, you may be feeling lost, alone. You know what's hurting you. It's time to take action. The universe is going to push you in some way. It may cause, there may could be more loss. Take care of yourself.
Somebody's going to be stepping into new territory. A cycle is over. Back to that first cut. Something is happening. It is actually very positive. We're coming out of manipulation, lack of self-value, lack of self-worth, moving towards something more exciting. But you have to take action. There's a new vision. You may get a vision. You may get a sudden desire to do something. It will require movement. Getting in the car, going somewhere, something like that. Good luck. <laughs> 